Hey guys, it's Nico here, and today I want to talk about two of my favorite projects that had two huge announcements yesterday. So let's start with Ecomi. Um, well, Ecomi and Vivi have sponsored with Disney, which is huge news. Um, even though that there was Pokemon news uh, somewhere fluctuating around, I think that's still coming. But if you think about Disney, they own everything. And the biggest thing that they own is Star Wars. So I want to go ahead and look through this. And it says, um, given the explosion of popularities of NS NFTs and especially officially licensed NFTs, Vivi has been in a perfect position to capitalize on a huge chunk of the market. Um, after very successful NFT drops from Marvel and with AR Comics selling out, Vivi has just announced that the Disney NFTs are coming in November. This is crazy, okay? Let's think, like... Right now, you have Shiba blowing up, which is horrible. I hope you guys aren't investing in Shiba. Um, and one tweet will boost it a thousand percent, but then you get a legit partnership like this goes up ten percent. I think a lot of that is just people don't know how to buy it. You know, if that was on like if it was on Binance and this came out like this news, this shoe would have jumped already. Which is the why it's a perfect time to still get in. Vivi's blowing up like the drops and stuff like that you can't get like if so like you're doing strategies you can youtube it it's hard but um ecomi is still undervalued i mean it's still a sixth of a cent imagine that once it hits a cent it's it's off to the races from there once it gets a single major listing i can see 10 cents easily and when you see partnerships like this and more on the way it's even better so it says to celebrate Disney Plus Day with a series of gold moments digital collectibles on Vivi, this will give fans and collectors the opportunity to purchase and interact with digital gold statues inspired by their beloved stories and moments from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and more. Um, collectors can expect the Golden Moments NFT collection to hit the platform in the lead up to Disney Plus Day. Um, oh, this is a cool part. It says. Uh, as an added bonus, every customer who first purchases an NFT from the Golden Moments collection will also receive three months of Disney Plus, courtesy of Vivi, while those customers who first purchase a special ultra rare digital collectibles on Disney Plus Day will receive a 12 month subscription. That's crazy. Like, that's crazy. Um, like I said, of course, the entire Vivi community has also been asking when Pokemon NFTs, um, which is going to be another huge announcement and there's already been hints Cavell's talked about it it's coming so i mean if you can think like star wars huge fan base um disney in general marvel um comic book people everyone's kind of fluctuating here but imagine if they get pokemon i mean i know friends that collect pokemon cards and like i remember one of my friends i was trying to tell him like buy cardano and he it was like 45 cents 50 cents and the dude was buying like pokemon packs for you know days and yeah, that's great, but once they become NFTs, there we go. Um, just imagine how possibly, just imagine how many possible NFT Disney could release um, from Disney, Pixar, and Star Wars alone. A secret, a secret rare Darth Vader NFT would. Oh my God, man, that would be insane. Imagine if it was interactive, like he could like, I don't know, that shit would be insane. So, Ecomi buy some if you, if you don't know where to buy some it's bit forex bit forex it's kind of a bitch to use um but it's not that bad so buy some ecomi I, I always tell people try and become an ecomi millionaire and not like a million dollars worth ecomi but have at least a million ecomi tokens because when it goes to the dollar boys we're gonna be lit um dallas mavericks announced five-year integrated partnership with cryptocurrency platform voyager so voyager i haven't i don't know if i've talked about it too much on my channel maybe in my first two videos but if you're not if you're not using Voyager right now, you're mistaken. Coinbase is right now the number one trending app in the entire app store over Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everything. It's becoming like the hype new thing to buy crypto, um, which I knew was gonna happen. But a lot of people don't know that you should be buying on Voyager. Voyager, no transaction fees. If you're gonna send money out of it for like, say you're gonna send ADA, it's like four ADA. It's never changed, it's a fixed price. and no transaction fees they give you monthly interest if you hold their token it can be interest up in up to nine percent a month they give you interest on uh cardano so i like to you know diversify yeah i like to stake my tokens but i also like to keep them in voyager too collect some interest um and so dallas mavericks announced five-year integrated partnership with cryptocurrency platform voyager a lot of people thought oh you know uh the mavs are gonna start accepting doge and the world of the era of doge man fuck no um so it says 
Wednesday morning, the Dallas Mavericks announced a partnership with the cryptocurrency platform Voyager, which allows uh, users of all ages and socio socioeconomic status to buy and trade over 60 digital assets, including Bitcoin, Ethereum. I'm not even going to say that second one, that last one. Um, later that day, Mark Cuban sat down with CEO and co-founder Steve, who I've been lucky enough to talk to before. Um, Rob um, from Digital Asset News is always talking about Steve. They're always talking, interviewing. I'll check, the, uh, check that out if you can. Um, it says the Voyager and the Dallas Mavericks will work to make cryptocurrency more accessible through education and community programs, global activations and fan engagement promotions. Um, Cuban discussed how to get involved on the app, uh, the future of cryptocurrency in general and from the NBA perspective and more. Uh, Dwight Powell, Maxi Kleber, Finney Smith, Jalen Brunson, and Neil Aquino were all in attendance. After the announcement, Cuban and Elric opened the floor, taking easy softball questions from each of the players um, first. There's a lot of excitement from Cuban as he continues to be very outspoken in favor of cryptocurrencies. As cryptocurrencies become more widely understood, I expect to see them become a staple in the NBA. The Portland Trailblazers and Philly um, have both have companies in connection to cryptocurrencies as their jersey sponsors for the 2021-2022 season. Starting point guard of the Wizards, Din Witty, looked to tokenize a three-year, $34 million contract that he had recently signed this past offseason. And it's clear that anything crypto-related is get, continuing to gain popularity around the NBA. Um, you look at like FTX Arena, I don't know if you've seen like Tom Brady's in there now, like um ftx i remember when i was in miami I, I i saw it and i was like that's crazy and i should have put money into it then um but yeah so all in all um it's gonna be very interesting uh rest of this bull cycle i think that these companies are making some huge changes i would buy vgx on voyager i would buy ecomi on vivi in fact i own both and um, yeah, I think these are great projects to look out for. Fuck Sheeb, you're not gonna make any more money off that. Look into real projects that have actual intrinsic value and have utility as well. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Buy VGX, buy Omi, buy VVs. It's gonna be a great rest of our summer. So um, with all that being said, thank you guys and have a great rest of your day.